These guys have been around for over a decade, man, with songs like Eyes on the Prize and Roll the Dice. They're all about having a party! Hi everybody, let's introduce today Tom Wiseman, Mean Gene Hartwig, Driven What's by up? Turmoil. What's happening, Hell everyone? Yeah. How you doing? People? That's right. How we doing? <laughs> Drinking some whiskey today. Yeah, yeah. we are, man. You guys wanted to try the old Granddad 114? Yes. So uh, let's pop the cork and get it in the glass. So let's try this out and uh, see how you like the old Granddad. Old Granddad, hey, cheers old to granddad. all you guys, man. Thanks for having us, man. Oh, dude, that's tasty. That's delicious. I really like that. Nice Ooh, finish. Yeah. Grandpa's yeah. cough syrup. Oh, yeah, I like that, man. Very good. Oh, yeah. My jeans like, I need a chase. <laughs> 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 you call this the worst for me. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, 114 proof, man. It'll give you a little better. Yeah, old granddad. What do so you think about it on the nose? Nice and sweet. Yeah. A lot of wheat yeah. And just real, real smooth. Absolutely. I got barbecued steak. <laughs> Is that what you feel? <laughs> Fat kids hungry. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That would be good. It smells like ribs. cherry too. Okay. A little bit. Oh, I still smell oh, steak. Definitely. Oh, love it. Sure. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Tastes like whiskey, man. Oh yeah, that's a good whiskey, man. It smells like steak and tastes going like down whiskey. even better. So you know, another way I like, I usually Ooh. do a cube. You know, like yeah. one of the big sphere cubes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the ice box. Yeah, love. Yeah, we we, we talked about getting one of those uh, mold thingies. Like those Dude, it's great. It's and it's a slow drip, right? Like it's yeah, it's just and you pour yeah, you like know that. one of these with one of them cubes in, man. By the time it gets down to the bottom, oh, it's the, the last sip is so good, oh, man. You know what? I mean, it's still it's still good straight. Flank I mean, steak. <laughs> yeah. I think you just hungry. You're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing for dinner, yeah, bitch? I didn't flank steak. You know, I won't <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes, right? You want flank, huh? That's very smell, specific. Man. Very specific. <laughs> flank. Smell flank. Oh, you want flank? Flank tender. Yeah. I don't want your flank. That's like a tube steak. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sausage. Well, I was steak gonna bite. say you like steak that. bites. He's gonna be like, hey, ass only steak. on cold mornings. That's man. what flank is, right? Oh. <laughs> That's how we got the name Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> you don't he look at me like that. Yeah. <laughs> don't be he winking at me like that. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I just love kind of just looking at this wall that you built. It's just <laughs> great. The room's great. I love it. Oh yeah, dude. And uh, being able to see you guys after a while is also another cool Damn moment. Straight, dude. Yeah. So we're getting to drink whiskey with you guys. Is Gene driving them? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm not driving. driving. Them. Hell no. You're going to need a booster seat. See over the steering wheel. <laughs> like Mario Kart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk music for a minute. Let's do it. So, you know, when I was younger, I listened to a few different styles of music when I was discovering metal, but the one band that really stuck out for me, that really kind of gripped me up in their whole persona and just the aggression and everything, dude, was Pantera, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Early, early 90s, it just kind of yeah. changed the game. Cowboys from hell. Goddamn right. Rest in peace, Vinny and Don. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Toast to that shit, right? Those guys. Yeah. Cheers. Hell yeah. That's, the That's some good right. metal, dude. Fucking right. Hell yeah. Good metal. Mm -hmm. For sure. So what about you guys, dude? When you were young in school, discovering different kinds of music, when it was getting heavy and stuff, what was the one band that really kind of reached out and grabbed you and made you want to play music yourselves? Uh, well, all kinds of styles, but then Metallica came around after all the, the glam stuff. Then I was like, ride the lightning. Mm. I was like, wait a minute, Let's, I don't know. Let's put that fucker back in, man. Dude, it, it was, was cassette back then. It was, un, it was <laughs> Put that fucker to back the, in. Yeah. It just kept on growing on me. It's like, Rewind I don't know it. about this music. Play again. Play it again. Throw it back in. Fuck. It's like, damn, this shit. Now, were you lucky enough to have the cassette player or the boom box? <laughs> you hit rewind and it would stop. Right. At the beginning of the song. Oh, wow. Well. Or to keep that. going. You yeah, keep it. That. Stop. I yeah, you're stop, right. play, stop, play, stop, play. I just remember, remember mostly in my in my truck would be like yeah it's just rewind a little bit 
you know, or just I just you let are it, old. I just let it ride. The of the truck. <laughs> yeah. My buddy came surprise. to me and he goes, "Dude, you got to see this album." And he showed me this album, and it was Poison, mm -hmm. and it was their first album, and it was you know they all looked like girls, <laughs> and you were like, oh, "What Molly the hell?" And like then girls. you listen to it, and then then he goes. Yeah, but you gotta listen to it. And so I listened to it and then he, and then all of a sudden he goes, What about this one? And he brought out Anthrax. And then he brought out Kill 'em All. Good. And Kill 'em All. I mean look, I get look at the hair stand up, dude. Kill 'em All blows it away. Was Good. to me Metallica Absolutely. just no remorse. Don't kill em all. I, I mean from all those like bands, how like tra started, how it, the the transgression, how how time Cliff and metal progressed rest in like, peace the cliff fucking bird dude Hell yeah, yeah. cliff bird that was fucking good. and even made it i mean come on i'm from la and i was in glendora i lived in san dimas same place as bill and ted right san dimas <laughs> most <laughs> excellent i know it's just fucking funny shit. <laughs> this is in 85 i went to this show and i was just like uh, this girl invited me over and she's like, yeah, are you in the glam? I said, what the fuck is glam, you know? You know, like Aerosmith? And I said, whatever. So I went to the show. I the first ladies of rock. I went to the show. I swear to God. you seen Steven Tyler. That's the first lady of rock right there. I thought, I thought it was, Everybody yeah, because of the ladies. bandanas and uh, shit. Yeah, well, yeah, it was about well, to stage too, right? Yeah. I thought it was a bunch of chicks on a stage, right? And all of a sudden this guy goes, it's good to be back home. We just got signed. And then they just rolled into look what the cat drug in. And I was like, then I found out later you on I was watching Poison. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny, th the funny thing about Poison is, you know, they got so much shit for the way they look. But they wrote music that has actually the stood, the, stood the, the test of time. Well, I mean, come on, man. Tell me you can't. They have. Tell me you can't instantly bring a poison song in exactly you know what I mean they have those songs you know, they are memorable As it's poison was a second <laughs> level for me at that time I was listening to Cinderella well dude I listened to Cinderella, Cinderella. Oh, yeah. Night that song, that oh yeah you know, it was white snake and skid row for me yeah you know, as far as dude and went. even those white bands snake, yeah. my wife and I listened to those bands and you know Tesla <coughs> and we used to rock yep. Queens Reich and Queens I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh, I dude, there was a whole genre for that shit back then. Now yeah, back then, like, I don't know, when I discovered Iron Maiden, Ground Man's too. I was yeah. like 12. They scared me. I mean, what? Hello, man. I'm, like, I'm used to Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany. Hey, I love the, yeah, I love the mall shit show. shit I never knew about. Th it. This is the stuff that people got me, <laughs> even though I asked wow. for other stuff. So the hardest thing I had in the day was ACDC. Well, who doesn't love ACDC? ACDC? They got me so then when I would see Iron Maiden and they're doing Led Number Zeppelin, of the Beast, I get scared. One of the first shows well, I ever saw was ACDC, man. And it, I remember it only because I could not hear for two to three days afterwards. Yeah. And it was one of those. Did they fire the cannons? What are they saying? For those about to rock, fire! All right, man. So, like, uh, I got a few influences of my own. Most people are fairly aware of them. Personally, what are your uh, what are your instrumental influences, and where do you pull your uh, your sound, your tone, your style, your playing from, dude? I think I think a lot of it's just looking for the right tone that fits you. I like more thicker, heavier. Chunkier tone. Oh yeah. So like, <laughs> so right, right so there. I do, yeah. dude. Like, just because you're so thick and chunky. Just because you're thick and heavier and chunkier. <laughs> so I, I, I'm, that's, I'm, that's my porn name. I'm, 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 I'm more gravitating towards, towards the fish side of things. Yeah, yeah. I love this guy, by the way. I think like, I break it down to kind of pickups. I, I'm a rhythm guitar player, so I break it down to pickups, and I I look at like what gives me the best tone. You could play any amp to give you something, but I think the pickups that are in your guitar are really something that gives you the, the chunk. And so I've always been an EMG guy. Love EMGs because I think they're they're just chunkier, crisper, crunchier, thicker. It's, it's like analog tape in a in a pickup. I have learned my favorite uh, pickup is the Invader. Hmm. Mo, I went from EMGs. That's the Seymour Duncan. Active to the Seymour Duncan Invader passive, and they are brutal as hell. You know, they really, you know what's funny they, about they that? Dude? You know what's crazy about so that? Perfect. Is that's I love that. Point. That's my point. 
Invader. <laughs> right. <laughs> Vader the Masturbator. No. Oh. Oh. The burn is real. <laughs> it is. So we've already killed the bottle of old Thank granddad's you. cough syrup. Now we're on the Larceny 1870 small batch. Small batch, good stuff. It's also a good drop. This was brought to us by Mr. Uh, Tom here. Woo! Tom Wiseman. Tom Wiseman. It's got a little more kick to it than the last one. So, it does. Oh, I like old man so, though, but this woo. one's like another. Go ahead, it's tell, us, like so. tell us what you guys got going on. July 30th. Come to Great the venue, wife. Great way. We Fuck love the you guys. August 17th even. Yep. We got that going on too. Always with direct support with Hell yeah. It's always a party. There it is. Turn by turbo, motherfuckers. Always a party. Let's have our Woo. last drink. Horns up. Let's go. Horns up! Go check out Driven by Turbo, man. All the links in the description below. Their website, their social media, everything. Let's go. Other than that, let's do it. Get the fuck out of here. Ah. All right, let's go. Come on, G. Oh, we got her ass kicked! <laughs> I bet you when that Tom guy gets drunk, he sounds like Andre the <laughs>